To what extent has the conflict in Ukraine been a turning point for EU relations with Russia? Yeah, I think this current conflict is a game changer in um, political and military and economic um, relations with Russia. I think it calls into question everything uh, Russia and the European states agreed on in the Charter of Paris and the, um, the Budapest Memorandum and the NATO-Russia Treaty from 1997, and I think everything that was agreed on is called into question by President Putin now, and uh, it leaves us uh, with a European security order um, unstable. You cannot predict anything anymore. Um, Russia is not uh, very likely to stick to its promises or to, 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 to get back to where it has been before. Um, our close economic ties with Russia that prevent us from doing what we want to do, I think it's a game changer in every sense. Are Russia's actions in Ukraine an indicator of what is to come in the Baltic and Eastern European states? I think it can be an indicator and uh, NATO and the EU should be prepared for these cases. I think it's it's totally likely that a little green man will uh, show up in Estonia or Latvia, and then um, we have to find a way to deal with this situation. I mean, NATO has made that point that it's an Article 5 case if that happens, but that's not very plausible and credible because, um, I mean, what, what who, uh, who is going to wage war um, because of uh, three green men uh, appearing in Estonia? I mean, um, you have to find a solution there and also with. Um, the um, Russian-speaking minorities um, in the Baltics are used and are um, are used like the uh, Russian minorities in Ukraine. Then we have a civil war uh, inside the Baltics, and for NATO, it's really dangerous and difficult uh, to solve that problem. So I think, yes, it's not a totally unlikely scenario. I think it's not very uh, plausible that um, Russia is going to invade the Baltics, but I think. This whole hybrid war scenario, um, like um, the cyber attacks uh, with Estonia, already happened, and I think uh, all this can happen in the future and we should be prepared. What do NATO and the EU need to do to shore up their ability to counter future aggression from Russia? I think we should stand united and firm. I think we should um, have a strong transatlantic alliance. Um, we have a strong alliance um, so far, but I think it's a very fragile one, especially within Europe. And I think, for example, Germany should do everything to um, hold together this European alliance and to um, control countries like Hungary or Cyprus and to to make them do what is necessary. <laughs> and um, I think that uh, another thing is to support uh, the former. Um, Soviet uh, countries like uh, Ukraine, Georgia, Moldova, I think they need uh, European and American support to, to, to have the chance to develop and to um, become stable democracies. And I think that's the best guarantee, uh, that's the best uh, deterrence of Russian aggression if, if you have a prosperous uh, region around Russia.